Hey, how's it going? Still working on the blaze farm here. I'm going to have to deactivate it again, so I have to hop in quickly, place blocks as fast as possible without dying. And before they all spawn. And it's not letting me. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I didn't think that through. I let oh shoot. No. And that's that. Uh, okay, gonna have to come up with a better plan. The new plan, I dug out all around the sides of it, so I'm gonna run in. There should be no no blaze there at the moment. And I'm just gonna have to try quickly place it this way. The best I can. Go all the way around. Mm, might take a little while. But uh yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I'll see you in a little bit. I did manage to deactivate it, so that was fun. Uh, I'm going to make a few changes in here. I'm going to get rid of these corner uh, pistons and pressure plates, because occasionally uh, this one will, get, will push the blaze, and then this one extends too. Sometimes when that happens, they take some suffocation damage, and we don't want that happening. So I'm I'm just gonna get rid of all the corner ones, and I'm also gonna add a a deactivation thing for the spawners. So I'm gonna pour lava down in here, in these corners, and that will pretty much get get rid of all the blaze spawning. Cause uh, if you have lava pouring down here. That will be light level 15, this will be 14, this will be 13. Blaze need light level 12 or lower to spawn, so uh, pretty much this whole place will be bright enough that they won't. If I, if I drop lava here, 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 and here. And then I'll need maybe some on the sides, the four sides here as well. And the nice thing is these pressure plates will keep the lava from flowing down. They'll hold it in place. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, i got lots to show you now. I made those changes. Our ice cream cone has a drizzle of hot fudge in it now. Looks pretty cool, I'd say. It seems to deactivate the blaze spawning completely which is really confusing me because as far as I know there are or there should be 24 blocks in there at light level 12 which I've tested this a few patches ago and blaze were only able to spawn at light level 12 or lower so they should be able to spawn in here but they're not so Maybe something changed in the patches. They don't seem to be spawning at light level 12 like I thought they would. Which is a good thing for me. That means I don't need to put lava down the sides, which is nice. This is a, this is a switch thing here to turn the lava on or off. You got uh, lava underneath each of these. And so a piston, sticky piston here will push a block to block it off or if it's open like it is right now there's uh, two holes and it'll pour down below let's uh, let's check it out where's that lever at so it, the lava disappears pretty quick I, I tried really hard to make sure that would happen so now yeah spawning no problem now 
Maybe I'll just turn this back on before we have some problems. That works really well. I'm happy about that. Pretty sure lava doesn't kill these guys. But maybe it will suffocate them, I don't know. Get rid of him. There we go. Yeah, so this is what it looks like on the inside. So lava pours down there and it's held in place by the pressure plates. And same with over here. That's where the other lava ends. Got one glass block above the spawner there, so none will spawn above it. So, nice feature to have that the de deactivating thing, uh, both for building it and when it's all done, you know, it'll be handy to be able to shut it off in case they're annoying me or, you know, if I don't want Blaze spawning, because they do lag the game considerably because of all the particles and stuff I've noticed. So, next up, we got to work on the crusher. Uh... Then, when that's all said and done, we need to look, make this look nicer. But it's going, it's going pretty good. It's a big project. Uh, Would have went smoother if I did more in creative mode. I like to practice building it first, but uh, you know, it's more fun if you don't know exactly what you're doing, I guess. Also, I should mention that with the with this lava here, I have solid blocks on all six sides of it when it's shut off. So the, the lava is above this block here. So there's there's a block below, there's a block above, and on all four sides. And that makes sure that no light leaks down to the spawning area below, which would lower spawning rates. That's really important. Right, so the next problem we have to deal with is uh, the fact that these pressure plates are activating our holding piston system below. Uh, we don't want that happening. So I think the best way of dealing with that is just to lower everything one more block for the crushing system. So the holder will be here then at this level. That'll give the, the blaze two blocks here to fall into. And that has an extra benefit of them not being able to jump out and walk around on these pressure plates when they're being held, which would get annoying. The downside is we have to go down one more block, which will take make us a little bit further away from the spawner, but we're still able to be within range of it. Yeah, so I lowered this one block. Uh, I also replaced these corners with glass just because I thought it would look cooler. You can see the lava through it. Uh, we're going to position the pistons now. Uh, so this will go down one. I might change this though. I don't know if I'm going to use glass or not in the end. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so the pistons will go not there. First for the holding system, I wanted them like this. Over there. So there'll be one here. And one here. Then on they'll there'll be two over on this side. Like that. So when they are all extended, uh, the blaze won't be able to fall down here. Okay, so I'm going to put glass all around. I feel like I've been very serious ever since I got to the nether, you know. I don't know. This is serious business, I guess. Dying all the time. Put me in serious mood. Okay, so... Next, we'll do the crusher. 
And I wanted for sure two pistons in the back there. I think that's the right position. Uh, we have to use solid blocks. We can't use glass for that because uh, glass won't suffocate them. And then the other pistons will go here. Remember, I I offset them diagonally because I was having that issue with the the bottom piston not being able to retract. So that's important. Another one would go over here. Like so. And so these two will get pushed forward first, uh, which will bring the blaze to these one either of these two blocks here, and then they'll get crushed by these two. And I'll be right over here being able to hit their feet and collect their drops is the plan. Okay, now we just got to do the wiring for all this. Awesome! Got the wiring done finally. Uh, it took me, took me a good hour anyway. It's, it's uh, kind of complicated. I'll run you through it pretty soon. Uh, first, let's see it in action here. Uh, we got, uh, we got the two buttons like I wanted, and the lever. This turns the blaze spawning on or off. This button activates the crusher. And this one opens the the gate or whatever once we collect our blaze rods and stuff. You can see they fall down. And while while it's closed, they're able to collect above there. And it's not perfect, but it's it's working pretty good. Some, a few do die. I'm not really sure how to correct that. And you can walk up and collect their drops. You can see they're collecting above there. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to shut this off so that we can see it. You can see the lava starting to flow down. See it one more time. It's pretty awesome, I like it. One hit kills. You get lots of XP from it. I've been getting tons of blaze rods. More than I'll ever need. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these uh, last few guys and then we'll run through the wiring. Yeah, so a lot of this uh, wiring and stuff I should be able to hide pretty good once I polish this area up. I can hide it all behind walls or under floors. I actually uh, made an effort to put all this stuff uh, down low so I could put a floor, a floor over top of it easily. So that's not a problem. Uh, let's look at this uh, lever here first, I guess. This turns the lava on or off, which turns the blaze spawning on or off. Uh, this just has wire, goes to this block, there's a redstone torch there, which goes up, and then this, it's a vertical column of torches all the way up to the top there. And that goes up to the lava thing we built earlier. I think that was this episode, I don't even know. Yeah, so, those torches come all the way up here. Up to here, powers this block, this wire, that goes to a repeater which sends uh, the power through this block and then powers all four pistons. So that's how the lava turns on and off. And we've we've looked in that at that already before. Okay, now the fun part. Um hmm. Yeah, I guess uh, before you build a redstone project like this that's fairly complicated, uh, it's good to figure out exactly what needs to happen in your head first before you start laying down wire. So with this, I knew I needed these four glass blocks to come together so that it would hold the blaze above. 
And then uh, I realized I needed these four blocks to come forward as well to push the blaze closer so that I'll be able to pick up their rods. Because if, if a rod lands back here, I can't grab it from here. So that's why I need them to come forward. I could have just made them drop down a one by one tube as well, and then I wouldn't have that problem. But uh, I thought it'd be cooler to have a two by two area to hold them. And and it is. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So figure out exactly what you need to happen. Uh, so they come forward, and then the crushers here and here. Squish them for a certain amount of time. And then they're released. Then you hit them. Blaze rods drop. You don't want this to open up yet because uh, you don't want uh, full health blaze mixing in with the one hit health blaze. And also you don't want them here when you're collecting the rods because they can attack you. So then you hit that and it releases everything back to normal. So there's basically uh, two groups of pistons on this thing. There's there's the four glass blocks and then the back wall. There, All eight of those pistons are connected together on the same wire and then there's also the two crusher pistons is the second group. And they're being powered from below here. There's the redstone torch and they're connected by this wire down here. Uh, the first group though, the gate one, with the eight pistons is being controlled by this wire here. Uh, so there's one of them, one of the pistons is over here, and then the f one of the front ones is over here. It's gonna be really hard to show you the wiring but uh, eventually I'll put my world up for download and if you want you can check it out yourself in more detail or I may make a tutorial on this as well but yeah uh, one of the pistons is here for the glass blocks uh, one of the front ones is uh, over there this goes around goes down here this is for the four uh, back wall pistons they're on a delay as well because I wanted, uh, I wanted the glass blocks to come together first, and then have a short delay before the back wall pushes them because uh, blaze need time to settle down because they jump around and stuff in there. It's another one of the pistons here, and then this one goes to a front one as well. These two also control the glass. So, a um, couple things about this. There are pressure plates above here, so I wasn't able to have the wire one block higher here because uh, the blaze walking on the pressure plates above were messing with my pistons down here when I had it higher. So I lowered it all. Also, I was not able to run the wire straight across here because of that piston glitch. If this if I had wire running above this block here, it would send power to this crusher piston down here and I would not be able to retract it like I need to. Yeah, so those are the two groups. This repeater here just makes it so I can pull, like the power is going this way. So it sends power to this block, excuse me, to this block here and then the repeater pulls the power from it. It's just a little little redstone trick. Okay, oops. Moving on. Okay, so um I've tried explaining this about three times now. This is my fourth fourth attempt. I just am having so much trouble explaining this. This is something you kind of have to see on a graph or paper, you know. Uh, so it's pretty pretty complicated to see how the wiring all works. Uh, when you press this button though, I'm going to try my best again. When you press this button here, it closes the gates first, and then shortly after that these two crusher pistons come together. 
gates closed, crushers come together. You can see a timer going back there, the long chain of repeaters. Once it gets to the end, these open. Uh, the gate stays closed until you shut it off or open it, pressing this button. Alright, so this button here first of all goes to an RS NOR latch here, which will keep the power state of either on or off. Uh, pressing this button turns it on, and that sends power to our, our group of eight pistons here. Then when you turn it, when you press this button here, it sets it to off. Okay. So that's one RS nor latch. There's two in total used in this circuit. Okay, when you press this button, uh, the power or the wire also goes. What? The heck? Son of a gun. Ah, uh, he blew up all my wiring, I bet you. Yeah, that bugger blew up a bunch of stuff. I think I got it fixed now. I hope. Uh, you hear all those gas in the background? That's how you know I've been in the nether for a long time here. Because little by little the zombie pigmen despawn, but the gas, they don't. They, they have different rules. So they just keep spawning. And eventually, if you stayed in one spot long enough, I think uh, pretty much all the mobs would be gas. Like all 79 or whatever it is. I think it's still 79. Anyway, back onto the redstone wiring that a lot of you probably don't care about. Um, you hit this button, it branches off four places, basically. Uh, this wire here goes to this RS NOR latch for the gate, which we already covered. It also goes down here, gets inverted, goes to uh, four repeaters here. And they go into, they point into, it's really hard to see, they point into this wire here, which is for the crushers, okay? And they're delayed so much just to give time for that back wall to extend before, before they crush the blaze, because you want them all settled before that happens, otherwise some, uh, some blaze might take inconsistent damage. And I'm still having that problem. Okay, so that's the second place it branches off to. Third place, it goes down to this RS NOR latch here, which again holds a power state. Uh, right now, you can see it's off. When I send power to this bottom block here, it switches this to on. So uh, normally, a button presses a one second pulse. So when this this gets switched on, it stays on until it gets shut off, so the pulse is would be infinite. But it also branches off here to this long chain of repeaters, which is our timer. And when it sends power to this block, it turns the RS NOR latch off. And that's how you that's how we control the length of our pulse. Makes sense? Yes, no. I don't care. <laughs> I explained it. I did my job. Let's hope. Let's hope it's good enough. So I'm gonna try polish this place up, and then I'm gonna get get the heck out of here because I'm sick of the Nether for right now. I think it looks a little bit better now that uh, we got it all covered up. Uh, have to do more tweaking and polishing next time we're in the Nether. Uh, next time we build something. I did collect a little bit of nether wart while I was uh, building this thing, but uh, I would like to set up a farm in here sometime in this area. It would be cool. One more for the road. If they're burning like that, it means they saw you and they're tracking you. Lost a few there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this project. It turned out nice. Yep, we're out of the nether. 
And uh, before we end the episode for today, I just wanted to do enchantment on a diamond pickaxe with you watching. So here we go, level 48. Some people have been telling me, you know, there's no point doing past level 30 because you can get efficiency 5 and all the skills at level 30 something. Uh, that might be true, but go on higher level, like closer you are to 50, the higher chance you'll get multiple enchantments on your on your tools. So there is benefit to going above that level as well. So here we go. Although I've been very unlucky lately with enchanting, we'll see. Yeah, could have been better, but I'm not going to complain. That was easy XP. Just kept adding up quicker and quicker as I was building the blaze farm, so not going to complain. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.